so basically, without getting into a tons of, of complex details about this, when you are making a security, when you're creating a security by allowing someone to invest in your property, what you're really doing is you are creating a um, requirement that you uh, follow public offering disclosures, right? So it's like kind of like when a, a stock goes public, you're making, you have to make that investment public. You don't, there's an exception when you don't have to do that, which is called a private offering. But if you take the private offering route, which is the route you definitely should take, obviously, if you don't have tons of capital and tons of expertise on your team to, to do this, then you need to look for which private placement, I mean, private offering um, exception you can qualify for in order to do this. So when you make the offering, it's called a private placement offering because it's not public. And if it's gonna be private, then it has to qualify for one of a number of private placement exceptions to registering it as a public offering, okay? And as a part of creating that private placement offering, you have to create what's, a, what's called a private placement memo, advising your investors of the potential risk, uh, the economic viability, uh, the likelihood that they will not receive their, their return on their investment. And all of this is required by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Again, just the, just the thing to remember is it is a general prohibition against advertising and soliciting investments, generally speaking, unless you can qualify for one of these statutory exemptions. 